What is their problem? He took a picture with someone. Go get a life. Listen, these rich people have nothing to do all day. They have to come after Simon. What is your problem? Hey guys, welcome to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. We're watching episode three of season three, Young Royals. Yes. On a scale of one to ten, how explosive do you think this episode will be? I would say probably an eight. Eight. Yeah, because last episode was quite explosive already, but mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to have a 10 mm -hmm. out of 10. Like That's probably going to be towards episode 4 or 5. See, I think we're going to have a 9 more towards a 10 because mm -hmm. last episode was so busy. So much happened, especially at the end when we find out that Villa's mom is having a, a breakdown. Like mm. I don't know, is it a nervous breakdown or depression or whatever, but yeah. that was quite uh, explosive. And then also we see tension, you know? Tension between Villa and Simon, um, you know, the the class difference is coming up. Yeah, yeah But then exactly. also tension between uh, Simon, August and Villa. So tension all yeah, along. It might be escalating. It episode. might escalate. Yeah. I do think so. Episode three sounds like an escalation. Feels like an escalation. Without further ado. Let's go. Let's go. She went from it's fine to I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> wow, was she's feeling? feeling so unwell that she might not be able to continue yeah, but serving as queen, you know? I mean, this sounds really serious. I could never be the same way Toxic relationship red flag? Uh, could have a point there, actually. Serious. Badla, that you don't have to worry about me in the London hospital. The mother is... To be fair. För att du hade inte kunnat hantera det. Att jag också kan fucka upp. Bad communication again. He should have been like, mom, listen. Let me walk you through everything step by step. Timeline. Presentation. Yeah, but it doesn't change the fact that he was selling drugs. No, know? it doesn't. But he can also just be honest about it. Be like, okay, let's talk about it. Right? Instead of being upset. Be honest. What's going on What's here? This? Is that a third year thing? Mm. <laughs> this guy is just like... Rektor Hamilton har sagt att det är nu uppför er under skolinspektionens besök imorgon. Oh, you better behave. Om det är någon nu som inte har skrivit under den här namninsamlingen så får de gärna göra det. För att imorgon så är det dags, då ska det lämnas in. Som jag trodde. Varken Simon eller Villa har skrivit under. As I thought. Who are we gonna have another conflict? Yeah, I mean, he will probably approach them and be like, Hey, can you sign this? Don't read the comments. He is just, I mean... Someone slap him. <gasps> hey, hey. I have with my mom. He's going to delete it. Oh no, he's replying. Do you listen to me? But there are a lot of people who on my last inlegg that I sang. Can we talk about the fact how similar the Swedish language to the German language is? Mm -hmm. So many words. The mm -hmm. languages are quite similar. Pratat om det, det blir värre när du reagerar på dem. De skriver som att de känner mig. De misstolkar allting. Ja, och jag hatar det, men... Det har liksom alltid varit så, och kommer nog alltid vara så. Oh no. Mm. 
I probably feel sorry for him. Right. Okay, so they spoke about it. Oh, they shouldn't be allowed on the. That is passes, a surprise. Right? Where is Malin? Oh no, the music room. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, that's the after. Um, the activity after school, no? Where they sing together. Oh. Well, is not showing up. Where is he? That we concentrate on the day. I was gonna say that might that might be a good idea. Ting, som du har väldigt svårt att prata om, då när när vill det mer. Maybe he's gonna open up about the initiation thing. Could you imagine? Or talk about this situation. Han har väl bara bestämt sig för att jag är ond. He is kind of evil. He was kind of evil. Kanske stämmer. Man kan faktiskt nå väldigt, väldigt bra genom att vara schysst mot andra. Om vi då börjar göra annorlunda val, mer osjälviska handlingar, så kan vi åtminstone komma dit hen att vi kan förlåta oss själva. Selfless acts is not something I would say August would do. <laughs> but having said that again, selling selling a painting to buy that horse was kind yeah, of selfless. I was gonna say yeah, that, yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, here we go again. This he is crazy. He can't stop. He can't stop. Oh, wow. Wow, did you read the one that said he should watch his back? <laughs> Oh, the mom is happy. Sit down and talk is a good idea. Oh. He's probably thinking like, well, the if comments. this will become more, like, he doesn't want that, you know? Vincent is like, don't bother coming back without his signature. Why is it so important for you to twist down here? Are you mixed? Hmm. It's clear as fuck that you're mixed. You haven't been in any school in school. Oh no. So you have no idea about what's going on. Wait, wait a minute. What do you mean by twist down here? Oh no. It's just a long time. You're just trying to find out. Just a little shit snack. I can destroy a lot. Hello, are you hating me? No. Will is very up. How do you say? He's getting very agitated very quickly, no? I don't see though, like what difference is going to make if he signs this petition. I do see it. If he signs the petition, the royal court would lose his shit. Right? Probably say, why did you put your name on it? What did they say just now? Hold on. Ah, there you go. I'm not allowed to take a stand. Interesting. Very true, he can't sign it. Right, if you think about it. No, baby, you weren't confused. He was saying drugs. No, oh, he needs to open up to her. No. No. Stop. No. Do you think he'll develop suicidal thoughts? Oh no. No, I don't think so. It's probably more if he wants to be in that relationship, you know. Oh, There's a lot more than and, that. He and, says, and I don't even school. want to be here. But he also said uh, he doesn't want to be in that 
Village anymore. Wichtig Tag. De kommer att vara inne på lektionerna och inspektera hela verksamheten. Bitch. But the girls literally noticed right away. Yeah, but I feel like she's gonna say something during the interview. Feliz. Maybe. She's already contemplating. I pratar med mamma. Jag har inte gått så förbi längre. Okay. I'm not longer grounded, but I'm still reading the comments. Have an Essa, navy blue today, oversized double-breasted blazer. They're coming pretend. Everybody on their best behavior. Vanessa's running around like she's been here forever. Yeah. Over here, everybody's studying. <laughs> and over there, everybody's studying. Oh yeah, he wants to do you. Oh no. No. They're gonna be caught having sex <laughs> in the Can hallway. I cannot. Uh, no. Not the bloody music room. No. <laughs> See you late. Oh no, Vanessa is gonna lose it. Vanessa is gonna lose it. Oh, how stupid can you no. be? Musikrummet och både, både Kronprinsen och Simon är med i skolans exceptionella skolkör. Oh, we're here to show you around. Ni Let me sing you a song. Så kan vi gå vidare till The Warriors. <laughs> That could have been a situation. I would have loved to see it though. Mm. There was a lot of drama. You know, this is giving a little bit uh, The Little Mermaid when they're trying to kiss each other. Like he sings, Sebastian sings, kiss the girl. And they keep getting interrupted. <laughs> they're making fake discussions like... <laughs> Alltså, men rektorn inte låter oss fira valbord nu, alltså då fattar inte. Ja, alla vet ju att första majen röd av en anledning. Ja, jävla nötte alla dumt alltså. Ni vet väl att man inte är ledig bara för att ni ska få festa dagen innan? Eh, va? Arbetarrörelsens dag. Okej, okay, och vad är deras stil då? Eller hur firar man? Oh. Man firar inte. Man demonstrerar. <laughs> Nej, Simon. Det är nog bara du som håller på med det där här inne. Uff. Vad tycker kungahuset om det? Wow. Det är ju soft med röd dag, i alla fall. Mm. Villa, that was your moment. Say something. But also, Vincent knows when to poke. Yeah. Vincent is like, mm -hmm. ready to poke. Hur var det när du gick här? Ja, nu. Det var någon av de rubbligaste åren i mitt liv. Jag var ju den enda svarta eleven på hela skolan när jag gick här. Så att det är klart att man stack ut. Folk sa ändå ordet som att det var det mest normala i hela världen då. Wow. De var ju likadana. Jag fick lära mig tidigt att She's gonna speak. jag behövde vara tio gånger så bra som alla andra. She's gonna be like, dad, leave it to me. Ja, det är lugnt, jag klarar mig själv. Jag är inte här då. Vad fint att du kunde komma. Jag vill börja med att säga att det här är helt konfidentiellt. <laughs> Even better, she's, she's like, like, how much time do you want? have? Så, oh, om no. vi tar ifrån när du började här i höstas. Hur var det för dig och de andra eleverna? Oh no, she's gonna unpack. Oh, my God, She would be the reason why the school closes. The music. Imagine. The drama. What is going on? Another Valentino jacket? Stats. That's a cute jacket. Stats. 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 
Eh, det kan. Eh, kommer vi få fyra valborg? Eller, eh, Not after this stand. Hur gör vi med det? How do we solve that? Hmm. First of all, I want a copy of this petition. Well, it depends on the outcome of the... What do you do then? No, but I tried to make it look as easy as possible. She did say it would be a lot. Hör ni, det blir valborg. Det är inte alkohol, men det kommer bli svinfett, okej? Taggad, kom igen. No alcohol, but you can have Fanta, Sprite and Coca-Cola. Party, party, party. Cinnamon buns. Okay, I'm here for that. I love how they replaced alcohol with cinnamon buns. Suddenly it's our party. Oh, so. <laughs> He's a broken person suddenly, huh? Yeah? He needs to do some good deeds, you know? Det här är den viktigaste kunskapen när man kör bil. True. Sjunga och köra samtidigt. Very true. I can change my mind. Of course, the song is always about like, oh, I can change. He picked it. <laughs> yes, put the Valentino up. There? He's taking the bus. Stop it. August Horn av Ånes. Jag är en uh, vän till Sara. Vicky. Vicky av Eriksson. <laughs> okay. Vad gör mm. du här, August? They are talking. Du är den enda jag någonsin har kunnat prata med. Du, du är den enda som någonsin har kunnat förstå mig. Kom tillbaka till skolan i alla fall. Snälla Sara. There are a couple of reasons she's not coming back at all. It's not just him now. Uh, that's all she has to say. But is her deadline over? Or does she is she still able mm. to come back? Yeah, she only had like a week left. Yeah, I think we're huh? still in the week. I think we're still within the week. My God, it's like one song after the other. They're turning this into a musical. Oh, are they making cinnamon rolls themselves? Cute. That is cute. I would feel tricked though. I'd be like, excuse me? No, these two need to get a room already. She's gonna see it on social. Hmm. Zooming in on Phyllis. She's gonna come back and be like, "Did you miss me?" I want my She needs to talk to Simon. She needs to talk to a couple of people. I always love how he's surrounded by this red light. It's like he's bathing in it. You know, he wants that feeling back. He wants to. He needs to, to stop with his com the comments. Can he not? He can deactivate the comments, no? Hmm. Oh, I fixed it to take your embarrassment. Så då började allt om igen. Tror du att det kommer bli så för mig? No, but she'll probably regret it one and what at one point, you know, she'll be like I should have gone back or something. Det där skulden och skammen. Jag tror att du och jag känner den där känslan mer än andra. Men du får inte låta den där känslan styra ditt liv. Very good point. These emotions cannot rule your life. Don't let them. Oh, look at her. Ni får nu med stolthet bära era studentkassor. Cute. That's very cute. Oh. They look like little, little captains. Yeah, August looks cute. He needs his locks. Who's this? Sarah. Sarah. She's back, back, back for more. You can ring me when you want, so I'll come and get you. Oh, 
Let's see what is gonna happen. I told you this episode is a nine. Let's give us some drama. Oh, they should do a barbecue with that fire. No, they have cinnabons in the cinna rolls in, the, in the oven. Also do a barbecue. I don't think Vanessa would approve. I have been a little sore that I was half slapped with it. For it's just not like cool. Hmm. It's not fun because you're allowing it not to be fun because you listen and uh, read the comments. I just thought all of you hurt. When he said Bosa hurt something else. I know what you heard. <laughs> I also want to say go back to your room and close the curtains. <gasps> Sarah. No. Come on, just give her a hug. <gasps> the music is on point. The anxiety is creeping up. She's unsure. What am I doing Come here? On. Is this the right thing to do? Should I leave? <gasps> no. Mm. She's seeing her brother. Her brother is oh, walking away. Walking no, Simon, this was the moment to go to her. And give her a hug and embrace Come on, her. At least she's Felice, calling me dad. At least Felice needs to go there. No, he's like, my phone is off. Uh, Felice wants to go and talk to her. Felice, go! <sighs> Simon should have gone over and hugged her. But they haven't even talked, so it would be a bit... All right, all right, no hugging. Fair enough. I'm too emotional. He shouldn't have gone over and hugged, but he obviously he wants the royal dig. But he should have been like, listen, babes, I need to go get that dig real quick. I'm going to come back and then we can talk. Like, what are you doing? Give here? me five minutes. I think it's going to be five minutes. In the hallways? Oh, they're having actual intercourse. I'm here for it. Oh, no, we're not there yet. Oh, my God. And they should go into the room, though. They're already undressing. Was that the first time, no? This time of intercourse? I think so. Right? No, when August took the video? He, they were wanking each other off. Do we need to go back and watch it? Wow, the curtains are open, by the way. <gasps> joy of heart. It's giving me joy. <laughs> Both <laughs> chuckle softly. Oh, nice. Oh. oh, this was beautiful. I love you. Oh no, she's gonna be upset. Wait, she's gonna be drunk. Oh no. What an idiot. Hmm. He, they literally talked about this five minutes ago and then he comes home and drinks. That makes no sense. That makes no sense, dude. Why would you do that to yourself and to her? Have you drunk it? I'm going to start on Monday again. That's crazy. Mm. I mean, she's so disappointed though, not because he didn't pick up. No, but it's not just that. Why did she come home? <clears throat> and they just talked about it and here he is, passed out, because he drank. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, he was her Eric, you know. How should I connect with him? Another song. What is going on? Oh, it's the, oh, the protest. No. Yes, yes, yes. Do you think Bill is gonna show up? Mm. For them, literally, it's a I day off. Love you know? it. It's literally protest, Pilates, and. Oh. Alltså, du är lite av en idol hemma hos oss. Det du och kronprinsen gör, vi tycker ni är jättemodiga. 
Let's go. Eller du vill ta en bild med oss. Uh, yes. Ja. He's gonna be Lady Di. <laughs> yeah, everybody's gonna love him. Mm. And they're gonna be taking pictures and stuff. That's good. He needs some kind of positivity. Yeah. You know, like some good feedback. Live a little. Yes. It's not all bad, you know? He just focuses on the bad. <laughs> and obviously people online... It's easier to be mean and yes. like say negative stuff, you know? Yes. Mm. Wait for it. People yeah. start they're gonna start commenting negative stuff again. Nice. Farima is gonna be in the front of it. What is he doing? Tell him to take it down. Delete it! Why are these guys playing? Where's the PlayStation? Where's the Xbox? He's gonna quickly check who he matched on Grinder with. Oh, he's gonna see the story now. Um... From... No. Farima seven missed calls. She's fuming. Vadå? Han visste att uh, Simon var sosse, men inte att han var så uh, aktiv i... Uh... What is their problem? He took a picture with someone. Go get a life. Listen, these rich people have nothing to do all day. They have to come after Simon. What is your problem? This is crazy to me. Look at the boy See, looking up to he him. He looks happy for the first time in yes. days. I'd be blocking for him. I was like, Actually, don't close call in the background. Oh. Though. I mean. Hey, Farima. Hey, Wilhelm. I thought that you were going to talk to Simon. Oh, no. There have already been a rubric on the images he posted. Who cares? Who cares? Get alive. Get alive. See, she, she's using his mother's health to, like, make she's him feel bad. She's a bitch. Bad. She's a bitch. He's gonna call him and he's gonna be upset. Why did you post this picture? Guys, I can't. This is nonsense. This is crazy. Hey, um... This is a deja vu. We had this last episode. Oh my god. He's gonna suck the joy out of it. Girl, I'll be like, listen, you know what? We're not having this conversation. Simon. Yeah, uh -huh. literally. I'm, we're not having this conversation. Simon, hello. Hello, Nix, hello. <gasps> huh? Please? What happened? Someone attacked them. <sighs> Stop it. I told you I that was his. Stone or something. <gasps> you know, when we watched the trailer, I told you it was his living room. I thought it was his living room. He can't take this anymore. This is crazy because not only can he take not not take this anymore, but on the on the other side he has the royal court and Willem being being you know the c word like what the <laughs> f Farima seven missed calls go get a life babe. She should know that he ha doesn't have access to his phone, right during. Specific hours. No, this is stressing me out. I'm gonna be the queen in a minute. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. What is going on? No, this is crazy. No, this is crazy. No. Anyway, what do you think? On a scale of one to ten? What Twenty-five. The ending was crazy. He's like calling him, and then it was like the end. Yes. I would have been like, we're not having this conversation again. I post whatever I want to post. If you don't like it, yeah, but then you don't like happened, it. So obviously it didn't. Obviously it's more important. Yes, yes, yes. What do you think? Um, yeah, actually, if you think about it, <laughs> very quiet. The, it was it was a nice episode. You know, it was yeah. kind of like not too much drama. But then now, obviously, towards the end, mm. it was just very explosive, catastrophic. I just don't understand it. Farima needs to stop calling him. Right, this is what annoys me. Right, if it is really so important, and Talk clearly it is directly. important, exactly, if it is so important, why don't you have a proactive meeting and be like, listen, Coach this is him. what you can do, this is what you can't do, this is what, what we recommend based on this situation. 
yeah. right? And then he will understand. But if you keep calling him every time he makes a mistake, mistake, it's like you're telling off a child. Mm. You're not giving. And this is also goes back to parenting, right? When you are telling off your child, you should tell him what he did wrong, why that was. And yeah. even that mm -mm. wrong thing, it wasn't wrong. But in that very moment, it wasn't the right thing. But, but I think it goes back to, I think she would talk to him directly. But? But I think in one of the previous episodes, Wilhelm at some point said to her, no, I I'll will take, take care, care of it. Because he probably is scared that if it comes from Farima directly or from the royal court, Simon will just be like, what the fuck? But I also don't like They that. can't tell me like what to do and what to say. And like, this is not well... what I want. This is not how I want to live my life. Wilhelm probably is like thinking, oh, I can say it to him in a nice way. He will understand. But it's not working. I feel like we need to rewrite the script. Right, I, I understand where you're coming from, but again, I'm just, you know, being the person that I am, I'd be like, let's work together. This is a collaboration, right? Let's work together. If you want these pictures, you should have these pictures. And Farima even said, we can use this relationship to push forward, to, yeah. you know, modernize, to to and take advantage. But here, she isn't taking advantage. She's shutting down every single thing because, frank, uh, frankly, she's actually not doing her job. I would fire her already. I'd be like, listen, you're not a good PR person. You're, rea you know, she's, she's reacting, but she's not taking care of her, like the, the PR. But don't you think for them to do that, for them to achieve that, he would still have to change? Simon. Who he is and like how he behaves mm. and what he says. And mm. I think that's just against his nature. Mm, yes and no. Let's take this post as an example, right? They took this picture with the boy and the mom, he mm. didn't pay attention to the surroundings. Maybe they could say, take this as an example, and as a case study, and say, listen, look at the situation, take this picture, check your surroundings, don't take the picture in front of that sign. Yeah, yeah true. And there you go. Bam. He could have been like, hold on. Bam. Let's move this way, take the picture, and you're done. Let's call them. Be like, hey, Farima, we want, <laughs> we we want your job. You. We want your job. Anyway, forget the bitch. Let's talk about Sarah. Um, yeah, I feel that. I mean, in the comments, you guys keep saying you you shouldn't forgive Sarah. No. Like, if you keep forgetting what she did. I was like, give her a hug, embrace but her. I, yeah, I, I just feel bad for her because on one side, we saw now she has this, like, lovely kind of flourishing relationship with her dad. Mm. Um, and then suddenly August shows up yes and he just brings everything back back yeah but then that kind of pushes her like then obviously she has the talk with her dad and that kind of pushes her to go back to school yes or at least try or at least try yeah yeah and then she sees everybody and she's like riddled with anxiety yeah, it's a bit overwhelming i guess um... and then and then the dad disappoints her the dad was just dude you just it was going so well. But it just shows you, you know, it's addiction is not easy. It's not just, oh, I'm going to drink to upset her. No, it's, it's just the addiction that he's dealing with. But also uh, when, when Sarah was there and they were celebrating, uh, Felice wanted to walk over. Right? That's what it looked like. Her yeah, body you language. Could see in her face. Yeah. Like she just wanted to. She wanted to go over. Yeah. And Stella and the girls were like, oh, what's she doing here? Yeah, yeah. Um, August was happy to see her, obviously. And then Simon I was actually just pleasantly surprised that he like not immediately went over to her. I was like, "Oh, you came!" Like, mm, maybe he respects. Maybe he respects the boundaries that yeah, she set because because he said to her like, "Even if you don't forgive me or something," just come back. he said like, "Come back to the school because I don't want to be the reason that you ruin your, your future, future." You know. Yes. And then we see also Simon's mom obviously still being upset, but slowly opening up and reconnecting with her son. He also opens up at one point where he says, I can't take this anymore. This is too much. I don't like the school. I don't want to go back. Mm. And they have this very, very nice moment um, to the point actually where she uh, releases him from the... He's not grounded anymore, yeah. right? And he's like, oh... We can be naughty. 
Um, and then they are beat naughty in, in this episode and, and make love to each other. They have a, a lovely time um, bottoming for each other, tapping <laughs> each other. The curtains were open, so clearly bit, they don't care. Yeah, but too revealing. Like, they started making it in the hallway they and then went care. into the room. They couldn't wait. They couldn't wait. Clearly they couldn't wait. Which, to be honest with you, I mean, let them let them love each yeah, other. You know, I'm surprised. They still need to be careful. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there might be another person taking a video, you know? Yeah, all the photographers on the on the campus, which is also crazy. But I guess at this point they they're not doing anything against the the paparazzi because they don't want to be more mm. like they, they, don't, they don't want to have more scandals or anything. I'm surprised that the, we've been now twice in the music room mm -hmm. in this episode in the season twice in the music room and there was no fight yet. Well, but then we had drama towards the end now, so. But not in the music room. I'm not talking about the music, the music room. room drama, right? Which is a signature for this show. Um, what do you think Felice said to the investigators? I think she probably told them that the teachers are racist. Maybe she even went back in time and like told, told them like, well, this was my dad's experience when he was here, mm -hmm. right? It was already back then and yeah. it still now is, so yeah. nothing has changed. Okay. Um, not sure how much maybe she said about those initiations. She said that she but talked a bit about it. They probably it. asked her and she probably said like, yes, we have them. But in how much detail, mm. detail did she give, you know? But the problem is because that, that side of the story is already in the, in, the, in the news and in the, in the tabloids and whatnot. Her confirming is just confirming the fact that whatever has been said already is probably true. Yeah. Yeah. I would have loved to, to find out more about Niels and um, and August because clearly they revealed last episode that something bad happened to yeah. them. Yeah, I have a feeling it will come out later, I hope later so. in the next I hope one so. or two episodes. I really hope so. I hope they're not going to leave anything unresolved or open. Um, going back to Simon quickly, like when he came to school and like he had this talk with um, Billa. Mm -hmm. He was a bit distracted because he was reading the comments and everything. Yes. But then obviously later on he talked to his mom and he said he can't take it anymore. Yes. And he doesn't want to be in Bierstadt anymore. Yeah. But it's also, I think, like it's slowly turning into not only doesn't want to, he doesn't want to be there, but also like I think the relationship, he doesn't want to be in that kind of relationship. I agree. He's being told off every Especially minutes. because Villa said to him like, oh, this is this has always been my life, people commenting, right? And it, and it will always be like this. So he's probably slowly thinking like, what wow, do they sign up to? Yeah, I don't want this, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, well, clearly he can't deal with it because he's not the type of person that can stay away from the comments. He even reached the point where he replied to a comment, mm -hmm. right? Which is like the ultimate thing, right? He's not just reading them, but the minute you reply, you actually are acknowledging this very comment right there. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, but I don't want him to spiral because I was, I said at one point, I was like, oh my God, I hope he's not going to have suicidal thoughts or anything, right? Because he, that, just that moment with his mom, he just, he was, he was destroyed. destroyed. Yeah, yeah, he was destroyed. Completely destroyed. Always, always surrounded and bathing in that red light though, <laughs> which actually uh, makes me believe it's almost like therapy to him at this point. You know, him just being in this red light is almost like. Yeah, him to wishing soothing, to be safe you know, like... in that safe zone. It's this, this bubble that he created or this feeling that he has had being with Villa. Mm -hmm. But now it's just continuously like he's being told off every five minutes. And then now towards the end, you know, when Villa and Simon made out mm -hmm. and then afterwards they talked about Sarah and Villa asked, do you think you could ever forgive her? Mm. Right. And he said something along the lines of like, oh, she's my sister and she did this to me. Like, yes, I don't know how I can trust anyone else. Yeah. And Villa said, like, you can trust me. Yep. But in Simon's face, it was almost like he didn't believe that. I know. I know. I thought like, the same thing. He's like, no, I don't even trust you. I know. Almost. Yeah. I felt the same. I was like, that was a cringe moment. I was like, ooh, because so far, yes, I can trust you. But there have been moments where you've let me down. Yeah. Right. I don't know. 
or even in, in the back of his mind is like, well, can I trust you? Because you keep, like, you keep trying to tell me, like, take this post down and this post. You're not being direct with me, but, like, you're behind my back almost. It's like you're trying to influence me. Yes. So can I trust you? I don't know. It's 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 becoming more and more uh, convoluted and explosive. There there there, see, there there seems to be a big conflict coming. Yes. I think we're gonna have a big music music room scene next next episode. Next one will be ten out, ten gonna out of throwing, ten. They're gonna throw pianos at each other. <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll see. It's just constant communications issues. I just want to jump into the screen and be like, stop. <laughs> And I would also go over to Farina and be like, babe, you need to do your job. Practically. So at this point, just, at this just point, do, like, do what you need to send do. Send him like... a brief. Hey, Simon, this is Farima. We haven't met yet, but out of the five posts that you posted, I would suggest you do this, 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 this. Let me help you. I'm going to make you two the dream couple of the nation. Right? But listen to me. But proactively. It's my yeah. favorite word, proactively. <laughs> anyway. Uh, bless her. She's trying, I guess. She's maybe just the intern. This was episode three. Thank you again for being here. We have three more episodes to go. And then it's going to be over. Yes. Uh, explosiveness coming. I think next time we need to bring our t-shirts back. Yeah. I also feel like bringing Not the, the team, team August, August one. <laughs> Listen, I thought it was actually very cute that he went to, to Sarah. It was. Very cute. I think it was obviously after his... Um therapy session you know he was like so i need to do like some good deeds you know mm, no i you know what when he was in that room and he was just going through stuff and you could see like his body language his posture right he was like proud and you, he was going through things and he was looking at the um, gradu graduation head and then he suddenly sees that picture and slowly you see him crumbling mm. i don't know if you've noticed but his posture changed like hit the back and that moment, I was like, wow, Malte is a very good actor. The acting... We know that already. Is, right? yeah. But every single episode, he just takes it to another level. Right? That, that, that subtle moment where he just switches into this broken man. And I was like, oh, where's my t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it was go amazing. For it. Wear it. I thought it was amazing. And no, he's then, still an asshole. And then, but then don't read the comments. Don't read the comments. <laughs> don't read the comments. People are going to be like, um, this t-shirt needs burning. <laughs> no, listen, I think it's the same goes for him that goes for Sarah. She's made mistakes. He's also made mistakes. But nothing... I don't know. I feel like they can still come together and be like, listen, we all fucked up, but let's let's try to work this out. It goes, yeah, what the therapist said to him. You know, you can just continue working on yourself, trying to be a better person exactly. going forward. And the other people that you've hurt, they might not for ever forgive you. Yeah. But at some point, you might be able to forgive yourself. Exactly. So he needs to do that. Sarah needs to do that. Yeah. Also, according to his stepdad, he's still a pissed person. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. he needs to get that badge removed. Yeah. Um, episode three. Thanks for being here. You know what to do. Subscribe, comment, and like. And we will be back for episode four. Yes. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.